Dear brothers and sisters, today I am in the south part of Taiwan, in the city of Kaohsiung, and here we just uh, recovered. We had the first service after the lockdown. Glory to God that it's over. But uh, now we receive this message, this lesson, that we need to be ready, and maybe ready for things much worse than we had. And also it's the beginning of the new school year. And this uh, uh, new school year is also reminding to us that uh, we need to treat our Christian life as study, as learning, as growing in Christ, year by, by year, month after month. Uh, it's, our faith is not just, uh, okay, I belong to this faith, yes, I believe, and that's fine. No, if we are not growing, if we are not uh, um, becoming more mature in Christ, as Apostle Paul said, come into the um, <clears throat> perfect man, man in Christ, we uh, are wasting our times, we're, we're not uh, following Christ. So uh, let us uh, uh, today think about uh, what is our understanding of ourselves, our roles as Christians, as uh, the church, what is our uh, self-vision, uh, self-conscience as a church in these times in these times uh, that are uh, getting closer to the last times okay? um, and uh, this uh, change that's happening now it's one of these turns on the path to these apocalyptic times okay? the humanity is getting there with this winding road <coughs> and uh, will be there eventually uh, so when uh, this is happening uh, we need to think uh, of the whole perception of the church of itself and it also needs to be changed okay? because um, uh, we uh, can see that uh, now the early times of the church existence are recovering are, uh, we're going back to those times but in the new shape of course these, uh, these times they were times when the church was a minority the church was illegal, was persecuted by the government. The government was totalitarian okay, at that time, and uh, the um, uh, social structure was slavery, okay, uh, the society. But at that time, this uh, slavery was not as bad as we're going to get okay, uh, in the near future. Okay? That slavery was a slavery that uh, only the soul or the body of a person belonged to some ruler and the, the ruler was many many different rulers okay and um, uh, he had no freedom but he was conscious of that now the uh, slavery that is coming it's gonna be a mental slavery the person will be completely enslaved his soul his heart his mind he will be a property Okay. And uh, the uh, ruler and the owner of this will be just, just one, uh, very centralized, not like in the past. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be like a big sect, a okay? big uh, global sect uh, society. That's where we're going to. Okay? And through technologies, through all kinds of ways, so it's going to be there at some point. Okay? And uh, uh, we have uh, greater pressure on the true uh, Christian message is increasing. We will have more censorship, will be, uh, more and more restrictions. You will need to comply to the whole, uh, the whole system. Okay, uh, so <clears throat> we are going back to those times, and uh, uh, the times that were from the time of uh, Saint Constantine the Great, okay, when mm, all people became Christians, okay, until the time our time this was a very nice time and uh, uh, this was a time of the uh, okay, majority uh, people uh, they were at least they were not against the Christian message okay maybe not all of them lived by it but uh, it was uh, <coughs> uh, in power and majority of rulers had uh, Christian faith okay at least in the uh, Europe in the even in the um, United States. Uh, but now we are getting further and further away from that. Okay, And uh, <clears throat> uh, we 
but the, our mentality is still back there, our church mentality. And this mentality became what? Became uh, that uh, I uh, can do nothing. Okay? I'm just coming, participating, and everybody else is, uh, is Christian, and we're just waiting from the church authorities to give us message, to establish the system, how it's going to run, where the finance is going to come from, and many, many other things. Okay? And I'm just, I'm, I'm nothing, I'm just participant. Okay, I just have to, have to have some relationship with God, pray, and then go home, and that's it. Okay. Um, in the early church, the mentality was very different. The mentality was uh, that um, I am a, a witness of Christ. Okay. Christ is expecting something from me, okay. and uh, I need to go and do things for Christ. Okay. I don't need to expect uh, anything coming from somewhere. Uh, and the bishops maybe they are in the prison, all of them, and we had that uh, recently with the Soviet Union. Okay, so I don't expect anything from bishop, from patriarchs, from somewhere. Okay, I just go and do uh, as much as I can myself. Okay, <clears throat> and also uh, the mission, the uh, preaching of the church is very important. When everybody is Christian, there is not so much importance, but now it's super important. And it's very important not uh, that we wait that okay somebody is going to do a mission program it's going to be a department of mission and stuff like that no it's a small scale mission that is that that is important uh, i go i talk to people i talk to my relatives i talk to my friends i share with them my faith i do this testimony and one if one person comes to faith through such effort that's going to be a great achievement maybe much more than any department or anything else achieves because that's bureaucratic thing but I am uh, sharing a life, faith that is alive, that is bringing fruit that is uh, changing someone, someone's heart so uh, this mission becomes very important and the importance of this family church becomes important like in the early uh, church, we remember Apostle Paul is writing to the, okay, these uh, are my greetings to the uh, family church. And he lists the people who are there. And uh, so the church was on a family scale. Um, we, we need to think about this. We need to think about this as we not just belong to some parish and it has like 500 people. No, it's important that on the uh, family level, we have this church. If we cannot do that, we share with our friends. Okay, and um, this is another um, another issue. And also in the on the parish level, it's important that we have this community spirit. And every one of us, okay, we need to contribute to that, to do more initiatives, to uh, care about each other, uh, to help. The priest in different projects okay, to propose new ideas okay, and to, to work on the, um, realizing them. So uh, that is, becomes very important okay, because now it's, it's not much. Okay? People are used to just a big crowd comes to the church and everybody prays and everybody goes back home. And there is not much uh, uh, feeling of uh, community and belongingness and uh, responsibility for, for this community that is something that is very important if we don't have that uh, okay devil will break us very fast one by one okay so those things are uh, super important in our times okay uh, when there will be big prosecutions uh, upon the church uh, if we're going to be waiting for a big parish to be established uh, it will never be done okay but if we have this small understanding that, okay, even in house, even one family, two families, several people, we come together, we pray, that is very strong. And the devil, that, that's a very big hit on the devil. Okay. Uh, also, uh, we can see that uh, um, big changes, big uh, contributions to the church were um, uh, done on the individual scale. Okay. The Lord chose one person who was ready, and through that person he has done big plans, like with the great Constant, uh, Constantine the Great, okay. just changing the whole empire, become Christian. Or uh, with uh, Saint Athanasius the Great, okay. he was uh, against this heresy, 
and uh, he was at some point only only bishop fighting against that heresy and eventually he won and orthodoxy the true faith overcame uh, we had uh, Alexander Nevsky he, he said no we don't need Catholicism in uh, in uh, Russia and uh, because of, of him his position his stand he was able to pr protect the, the the church and the land uh, and we have many we have mark of uh, uh, Ephesus okay who was just one bishop who was against uh, uh, the um, betrayal of uh, orthodox faith he was just one everybody else uh, betrayed but because of him the, f the plan failed the whole plan of uh, failed and many uh, other examples so we should not think that uh, I can do nothing, I'm so small, I don't have education, I don't have anything. No, we just need, uh, if we do any uh, plan, any mission, we need a blessing and we do it. We do it as member of the church, but we are a very um, <clears throat> active and very mission oriented. Okay? We, we feel that mission, that calling from the Lord and with humble heart not because I'm super poop, no, I'm nothing, okay, we just should not think that it's because I am some important thing, no, it's just because that happens like that, the Lord helps me to become a little um, break in the system, the plan of Satan, and the Apostle Paul says, we, it's, uh, we're not unaware of the plans of the Satan, the plan of the Satan right now is that uh, the whole population will be just as uh, herd of swine running in one direction and everybody is going to work in that way and everything his plan is going to succeed because everybody is brainwashed in such a way that they are going to run and embrace whatever he wants okay <clears throat> so it's a spiritual he, he, he can do it only when uh, the whole society is spiritually uh, subject to that and the society is more and more manipulated now like uh, even 50, 70 years ago, there was not such manipulation that's going on right now. This is consumerist society when people, they are, they have no protection. What they hear, they hear the, uh, uh, these uh, ads, okay, you buy this, you buy this, and they go and buy, okay. And uh, the news, okay, you need to be afraid of that, and everybody is afraid of that, okay. People are much more uh, <clears throat> prone to such manipulations these these days even though it seems to be more education but uh, uh, actually uh, people used to be thinking much more uh, autonomously in those days even 50 60 years ago but now people just think in, in one direction whatever they're told they believe and they do okay <clears throat> so in this uh, situation uh, even one person can become this uh, flaw in the system okay and as a big big robot is going and if some little part broke breaks he will be stuck okay so our goal right now is to make this this, this project of the, the devil is stuck okay not going through and that can be done on even on individual level okay and on the level of small uh, groups family church uh, community little community Okay, and we have to feel this, um, that we are against the flaw. Everybody flows, every uh, thing flows in one direction and we're going in the, the opposite direction. Okay, this is self-conscious that we need to see. Because in the past it was, okay, everybody Christian, everybody all together, we go with the flow, that's the direction, the, the Lord wants us to go there. No, that's not the case anymore now it's it's over okay now the whole direction is going to destruction okay to antichrist but we go in another direction we go to christ okay and um, <clears throat> and also uh, the lord said that one a small east can uh, change the whole um, uh, <clears throat> the whole uh, bread okay um, and um, uh, and the, the modern modern world is like this. It's easy to, 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 to be changed. People become less and less autonomous. So we have to have, we use this in order to contribute to the change in the right direction. 
and uh, Satan he knows about this uh, method and he is also using it okay and we can see that a big uh, destruction to this world okay big projects of Satan also get accomplished through very few people they are crazy maniacs okay like Lenin or um, Trotsky or, or some other revolutionaries okay Napoleon Hitler He's just one crazy maniac who just uh, has no fear and he just goes and does it. Very often they are satanists, they are occultists, they, they, they are perverts, okay? And they have, they, they, they just go and just break and just do it, okay? okay? And that, uh, and everybody else is afraid and scared and they say, oh, okay, yes, 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 we do what, whatever you, 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 you say. Okay, <clears throat> so devil also acts through this, uh, the vessels of devil, these demonic uh, people who are de uh, demon possessed, basically, and uh, <coughs> uh, and he can succeed. Very often he succeeds in that sense. Uh, of course, we are driven not by uh, this fanatic, crazy, maniac thing. Okay, we are driven. We have to be driven by love of Christ. Okay, we love Christ, and we can go crazy because we love him. We can uh, accept risks, we can do many things because we love Christ and we are ready to, to do things for him. And he will give us vision, he will give us blessing, we need to be still humble, receive blessing for whatever we do and go and do it. So let us pray for that, let us uh, have a clear understanding of what the uh, uh, devil, the Satan, what he wants and uh, to uh, make it not happen, whatever he wants. We are against all of that, all of those plans and we don't want our fellow people, we don't say, oh, hell with it, this world is going to hell, it be it so. No, it's our people, it's our uh, brothers and sisters in Christ in Adam, okay, those who are not in the church, their brothers and sisters in Adam, we need to do whatever we can, whatever it takes, to help them uh, avoid this delusion, avoid this uh, destruction. And the Lord will give us wisdom and help us. May the Lord's peace and wisdom be with you. I mean.